In this video, I'm going to teach you three ways that you can use your texturizing shears that you may not have thought of. Let's get started. On this mannequin, I'm just gonna do one side so that you're able to see the difference on how these texturizing techniques really work. So the very first way I'm gonna use my texturizing shears is to simply use them as a point cutting tool. You guys probably know how to point cut with regular shears, but we're gonna actually point cut with our texturizing shears. So here's the difference. You're not actually going to be removing length. You're not going to be doing deep jagged edges. This is gonna really soften up your line. Keep in mind, whenever you go in vertically, you're going to create that softness. Or if you go in horizontally, which I think a lot of times we do with texturizing shears, which probably we shouldn't as much as we do, uh, I think what happens is you're gonna get just that nice soft line, that soft edge right along the bottom, as opposed to a really hard, blunt line. So if your client is looking for a softer edge after you're finished, just going through with the texturizing shears and just using them as a point cut is a really good trick to do. The next thing I'm gonna show you is to slide cut with your texturizing shears. Basically, you are doing the exact same thing you would do with your regular shears, gently opening and closing those shears. Do not, under any circumstances, close them all the way. You close them all the way, you are gonna take a chunk out of the hair. So just wiggling those shears down just as if you were doing slide cutting with regular scissors. The difference is that you're going to get a lot more softness. So you're not going to be removing quite as much bulk with this. So this would be a good technique maybe for fine hair or if you just wanna remove a little bit, you don't want any noticeable lines in your softening, uh, this is really good to do. Now you can see already there is definitely a difference from each side. So just with those two techniques, probably more the slide cutting technique than that point cutting one on the bottom, I really didn't remove any length, but I am removing some weight. Now this technique is my favorite and it's one that I use often. This one, it's more of a back combing technique with your shears. You can do this with regular shears, however, it would be much more aggressive. With your texturizing shears, you're basically going to get a lot of softness. So you're just gonna open and close those shears very, very subtly. So the same as uh, just regular back combing and the same as slide cutting. So when you were slide cutting, you were just opening and closing very gently. So if you notice here in my slow-mo, you're gonna see that they just open and close ever so slightly. Again, if you take the shears and you close them all together, you're gonna to take a big chunk out of the hair. This technique, you can do anywhere in the hair, and this is great on the surface because you never wanna take your texturizing shears and just take a big hunk, horizontal line, right on the top of the hair. You're probably gonna see those lines. So this is a really great way if you do wanna soften up that top layer of hair, you can go in and just back comb with the texturizers. And such pretty movement that you get through here. I'm also gonna do this technique on the bangs. So again, gently opening and closing. If I cut and I close the shears all together, I am going to take some length off. So be very careful that you don't do that and that you're only going in just slightly opening and closing as you go. And again, I'm only doing half. So I'm gonna do half the bang and one full half of the head so you can really see the difference of what these texturizing techniques can do for you. Texturizing is very visual. So you'll notice I'm just kind of taking a step back. I'm looking and I'm just picking up pieces that I see weight. Anywhere that I see weight, I'm gonna go in and I'm going to do this technique. Now the difference is unbelievable. I didn't take any length. All I did was those techniques that you just see me do. And I'm very pleased with this, as you can see. And you can see when I'm pulling it out, you can see almost the frothiness on one side, as opposed to that weight or bulkiness on the other. So this, I'm going to do the crown area. This can be done. It's the same technique, your back combing technique. I'm doing it from underneath. This is really good for clients that may want some volume and a little bit more lightness through their crown area. This is going to create some shorter layers underneath, but again, they're not gonna be blunt, cut off, short layers. You're just going to create some texture underneath. A rule of thumb is that short layers will support long layers. 
So by doing this technique on the underside of that crown area, I'm creating a lot of lift and a lot of movement by placing some shorter pieces underneath the longer pieces on top. So no length is being lost. I'm simply creating some texture. I'm holding this piece up here just so you can see that no length has been lost. So if I was to close those shears right away, I would still end up with some pretty harsh lines and gaps even though they're texturizing shears. But from side to side, the difference is just amazing. So this is your before side. And this is the after. If you're struggling to create texture and volume in your haircuts while still maintaining length, I really think that this technique could really, really help you out. So don't be afraid to use your texturizing shears in a different way. Don't just go in in the horizontal. In fact, I don't really encourage that at all. Always keep them on either a diagonal or a vertical and try some slide cutting and definitely try that backcombing technique. You're absolutely going to love it and point cut some edges and just play around and have some fun. I did this haircut on my graduated bob, which last week I did the diamond halo on. So if you wanna check out that video, it's right here. And in the meantime, have a great hair day.